Very well drafted holder. This is Lou taking out from 7. World record holder. You'll see why. I remember having flown out to this competition, the 2019 World Championships, and the level of excitement and expectation. This was the first major championships that I'd filmed. And of course, I'd been involved in weightlifting for a reasonably long amount of time at this point. I remember watching the 2013 World Championships, seeing guys, even from this team, Lu Jiaojun, snatching 176. He's clean jerk 204, I think it was his first ever 380 kilo total, which he would almost unequal a week after this very session. And so while stood here, I knew just how incredible Team China was. I don't think I realized quite the extent to which they were going to dominate this World Championships. I mean, they ended up taking 10 of the gold medals in the total. So half of the whole uh, gold medals from this competition, 20 weight categories, they took 10. Out of the possible 180 medals, they took 63, 21 world records of set, multiple medals, multiple world records from various athletes. Uh, and if you were to take the rest of the world and put them up against Team China at this competition, the rest of the world would not have won. And I looked through all of the content that I had and I realized I have hours and hours of footage. I basically followed Team China around for this entire week. I filmed every single session that they had Except for one, which you'll see later in this. It was a session where Lasher turned up and he did the 210-255. So you'll have to forgive me. I'm sure you will because that was about the most exciting session that's almost ever happened in a training hall. So I only got part of that training session from Team China. But I wanted to almost document these athletes across this week, this build-up. Watching them all training heavy on different days as they competed and won and set world records on different days. This was the first session, and this was the first time I'd ever been with a camera in front of athletes. And looking back, I did an okay job in terms of the filming, but certainly didn't really understand exactly what it was that I was trying to do. I didn't know exactly what the best angles were. But even so, to turn up and just be in the middle of such a phenomenal team, we had Lu Zhaozhen going heavy on the front squat. We had, uh, there's Yang Zhe over there working up in the front squat also. He didn't go particularly heavy in that session, but I think on the second and third parts to these videos, that's when you're going to see him start pushing up heavier than any of the other Chinese athletes can do. Him being a 109, of course, he can outlift the rest. So there's Liu at 170 working up. We had Shi Ziyong snatching up to right around 140 kilos in this session. Li Dai-in, similarly, I think he power cleans and jerks somewhere in the, the high 100s, not, not quite up to 180, but somewhere just around there. And then you just catch glimpses of these other incredible lifters. Suddenly there's Chen Li Zhen, you know, Olympic champion, uh, multiple time world champion, front squatting. You get uh, Qin Fu Lin, you get Li Fa Bin or, or Feng Lu Dong, uh, all of these sorts of athletes. You can actually hear Li Wen Wen in the background lifting right now. And the thing with a lot of these athletes, many of them I knew really well. Uh, but some of them I didn't actually know so well. There's Chan Yuang Fei with 110. He was one of the athletes that I, I was reasonably well aware of because even though he hadn't medaled particularly at major international competitions, he'd been on the national squad for a while. So same with Shi Ziyong. I mean, we'd seen him since 2015 when he won at the World Championships back in Houston. So he'd been on the national team for a while. But there were athletes here that I didn't know a huge amount about. I mean, Feng Lu Dong, for example, who I just mentioned, uh, he's in a couple of these uh, videos that I'm going to put out over the next week. I think we'd really only ever seen him compete in 2018 at the World Championships prior to this. And when he was there, he placed 13th. So it's not like he was really on anyone's radar. There's 
240 for Lou. I think that's his top set here at this training session. And some of these lifts you will remember. Some of these videos have been posted as training sessions before, but a lot of the lifts were cut out and several training sessions from days three, four, five, six, seven have never been posted. So there's a lot of new content here. But as I was saying, some of these athletes we just didn't really know a huge amount about. It's the same with Lee Dayin to some degree. I mean, he'd competed one year prior. That's a very fast 220 from Tian Tao. He'd competed one year prior in 2018 at the World Championships. And to be fair, Lee Dayin had placed third. You can see him there with that 140, and he is just so jacked. It's almost unbelievable. These guys were um, on another level at this competition. But he'd done very well though. He snatched 168 and he clean jerked 204. A 372 total. And he took third behind, it was Ehab uh, in silver and then Lu Jiajun in, in gold. And the totals were 372, 373, 374. So it was actually a very close competition. Let's just watch his 250. Absolute elevators for legs from Tian Tao. Almost <laughs> injures himself. I think he might be wearing a gum shield there actually. I've not seen that in weightlifting. I've seen that in powerlifting and strongman quite a lot. but. So back to Lee Dayin, who we were just watching there. Um, you could tell back in 2018 that he was going to be one of the best weightlifters in the world. I mean, the 204 clean and power jerk that he hit just made you realize how strong he really is. And I, I think to some degree he's stayed like that. I mean, he's continued to improve to some degree. We've seen him snatch as much as 175 kilos in the 81 kilo category, which obviously is the current world record. And we've seen him clean and jerk up to 206. And then in training, and of course, he had the world record total, actually, for all of a minute at this competition before Lou hit it um, a minute later. But he's up the snatch to 175. We've seen him clean in training from the hip, 215. And presumably, he's now going to move up to the 89 kilo Olympic category, where we're going to see him have to go up against Tian Tao. And that's what's so interesting. And there's a lot of Li Dai-in from this world championships. I think I had this... The inkling that he was going to be, in the future, one of the best in the world. Uh, and for that reason, I ended up filming a lot of it. There's Lou doing his dips. And it, interestingly, of course, this is the first time I'd ever filmed Lou. But then I saw Team China again, you know, a couple months later in Switzerland. And it was there that I did the interview with Lu Jiajun and the kind of interview with... Shi Ziyong, who just power snatched at 130. The kind of interview with Shi Ziyong was, I had to drive him from the training hall to his hotel because Team China had left without him. And so I was with the Lu Jiajun Barbell team and Shi Ziyong, and it was while well, set in the car with him yelling Wo Chao and you know just being generally crazy, that I was able to sneak in questions that would go via translator back to Shi, back to the translator and back to me. That's where I found out that he'd snatched 173 in training, that he'd, clean 206 I think it was he'd snatch grip deadlift uh, 250 front squatted 255 I found out all of his best lifts and then of course you know half an hour later I was in a hotel room uh, waiting with a camera set up for Lu Jojin to enter and that's where I got that 40 minute interview so this that we're seeing here is my first time filming these guys but then it wasn't long before I'd done a lot of sessions with them that's a ridiculous 140 power snatch there from Shi Ziyong. Yuan Chengfei, uh, 73 kilo lift. He's lived in the shadows of Shi Ziyong. He said before in an interview that his goal very much is to make the Olympic team. And he's got the Olympic rings tattooed on his chest, even though it's not yet been. Um, but it's just tough for him because, you know, he's got a decent snatch. He can push into the high 50s, but Shi Ziyong has just improved so much. I mean, Shi Ziyong at this competition snatches 166. And since then, he's upped it, the world record, to 169. And he's just getting further and further away. Yuan Chengfei, you know, he can clean and jerk. Low 90s. I want to say that his best ever is 93 or 94 in a competition. He hits, uh, I think it's a 180 cleaner squat jerk, uh, which will be in part two of this video. So he's just never quite been able to overtake Shi Ziyong. Right there, it looks like we have 160, 190, 210, 230 front squats from Li Dayin. And despite having relatively long femurs for a Chinese weightlifter, he gets up with that incredibly easily. Just 10 kilos less than Lou, but dare I say it, maybe he makes it look a little bit quicker than Lou. Here's Feng Ludong with 180. 
He's the uh, 67 kilo lifter. He's a brilliant snatcher. He actually took the gold medal at this World Championships. I think he hit 153. Chen Li Jun, also in that category, attempted the 153 but missed and so ended up with a 150. So Feng Ludong had the lead, but then he's just not quite as strong in the clean and jerk. I mean, he's, he's good. He hit 180, which was enough for fourth in that lift. But Chen Li Jun hit 187, which was the gold in that lift. Uh, and so Chen Li Jun took the gold in the total. And Feng Ludong, as we can see there with that 190, ended up taking the silver medal. And I think this is sort of the end of this first session. I remember leaving at the end of this day and just being kind of overwhelmed by the level of weightlifting that I'd just seen. So many of the most talented weightlifters in the world turning up and just taking up half of that massive training hall in Pattaya, Thailand to uh, hit these big lifts was kind of impressive. Shi Ziyong, Pao Snatcher 140, Lu Jiajun up to 240. There's Li Dayin with some heavy dips as well. That looks like somewhere around 250 probably. And then it finishes off, as always, with some accessories, whether it's uses and bands, whether it's uh, a barbell with some lightweights. That's Lu doing 50 kilos, it looks like, for holds. So here's day two, and this is the day that I was talking about where I ended up missing a lot of the training. And, you know, in hindsight, I think I made the right decision, but part of me always wishes I had <laughs> stayed over here and filmed. I was starting to film them and then Lasha turned up and I just, you know, I, ha I don't think I'd ever filmed him either at that point. So I wanted to make sure I got one of his sessions and there were sort of rumors, whispers that he was going to go heavy. And he did. He snatched 200 for almost a double. He took like 20 seconds in between reps, which at that point was something that no one had ever really seen in a training hall before. Although Lasha's made that almost commonplace at this point. Uh, and then he did the 255, which is still equal to the most he's ever done in a training hall. So I'm glad I filmed that, but there were definitely some lists from over here with Team China that I'm a little bit gutted I missed out on. Here's Li Dayin, who would end up snatching 171 kilos at this World Championships with 150. He's also in plenty of other training sessions that we've got coming up in this week of filming Team China training. So. There are plenty more 150s that you're going to see. This is 21 kilos under what he hit, 25 kilos under the most he's done since in competition. But it looked like athletes, the good athletes that a lot of people love watching, were just building up to heavy lifts. Uh, and I wasn't able to get them all. I remember sprinting over to get this 200 from Lou. And, uh, well, as you'll see, that right there is the reason why I'm pleased that I actually made the decision to go and film Lasher because you know, Lasher made all of his lifts, not calling out Lou. Lou is, uh, you know, one of the greatest weightlifters of ever, but if Lou had made that 200, then there'd have been a case for having had the full warm-up to it, but, you know, it didn't feel quite right. This is 180, 230 for a paused front squat, which is just absurd. And I think this is the last lift I got from this day. <coughs> And then day three, I believe this was the 19th or the, it was the 19th, yeah, of September 2019. It was Shi Ziyong and Li Dayen basically training together. Later on in this day, there was actually a training session from, it was Li Wenwen, Deng Wei and Yuan Cheng Fei. That was in the PM, this is the AM. What I'm gonna do is actually split that training session into, or just put that training session as the first session of the next video that comes out from Team China. We've got Li Wenwen, Deng Wei, Yuan Cheng Fei, more Dai Yin, more Lu, Tian, uh, Yang Zhe, and then I'll put out a third video, which will be the last couple of days of training, which is going to have, well, basically a little bit of everyone, sort of the miscellaneous athletes. Um, a lot of them will have competed at that point, so they just start messing around a little bit. But uh, this is the heaviest we certainly see She's young in any of the pulls. This is 200 kilos, and he he said to me in that one car journey we had that his best snatch deadlift was 250, which is really a lot of you will have heard the episode that I did with Max where we spoke about why She's young is so good, and we compared various of his strength lifts with others. We realized that you know basically as the movement separates to become more force production focused, that's where he really tends to separate out. And a lot of people commented said. 
you know, duh, it's obvious, look at him. And it is obvious to some degree, but it was still always interesting to, to sort of talk about him. Um, but the thing with the 250 snatch deadlift, which you can really believe, seeing the ease of that 230, is there might be one, maybe two other 73s in the world who front squatted 270, sorry, 250. I think probably it's just the one, and I think it's probably just uh, CJ Cummings. But I doubt there's any 73 in the world who can come even close to snatch grip deadlift in 250. And that's where we see Shizion just dramatically excel. I mean, that 230 that he did there just three days out, Max made the point in that video that if that really was 93, 94% of his max snatch deadlift, there's no way he'd actually be doing that three days out from competition just because the muscular and neural fatigue that, that lift is going to provide the, the body uh, on a global scale is just is just too much to do so close to wanting to maximize um, power output a few days later in the competition platform. And he certainly did maximize power output because this is the competition where he famously hit that 190 power clean and jerk on his opening power clean, uh, on his opening clean and jerk. There you can see some of Team Georgia just out in front of these guys. There's Asanidzi on the left, Lasha sat on the right. Uh, and because I know there are going to be tons of questions, because there always are, uh, the marks on the back of Xi Ziyong and all these Chinese athletes at different points in the week is just from cupping, which supposedly is to help, I guess, restore blood flow or just improve blood flow to certain areas through the use of essentially a vacuum. vacuum. Here's Feng Ludong. 40 kilos. You see Chinese athletes do this a fair amount. I think I first noticed anyone doing this, uh, I think it was Klokov, he calls them trappies and there's a little bit more hip flexion extension in them, but the Chinese do them almost more of a, a bodybuilding exercise. I believe Yang Zhe, the 109, who sets a world record in the snatch of this competition, 197, he does them on his sort of three days out session at 120 kilos, which there'll be a video of either in the next one or the third video of this week training with Team China. I've noticed Xi Ziyong do this a fair bit after training sessions, even if he works up to 140 or 60 or 80 or whatever it is, dropping down to 40, 60, 70 kilos and just performing really light repetitions. That is 160, 90, 210 for Li Dian, just I guess basically singles at what he's ultimately able to clean and maybe jerk. He did 200 kilos the other day in a Chinese national competition, I think 170, 200, something like that, which equaled one of the other Chinese athletes who did 160, 210. But of course, we know that he can go a little bit heavier than those numbers. That's 250 for a hold. And uh, that's it. This is the first two days of training with Team China. If you want to watch more of the incredible Chinese athletes emerging onto the scene, then make sure you pick up your pay-per-view tickets for the Asian Championships. October 8th and 16th, broadcasted officially by Wedding House around the world, live and on demand. The link is down below.